Όχι μόνο στο 84 ήταν σχετικό όλα εσύ. Αν σταματήσω να χορεύω, έλεγε. Θα σταματήσει και η καρδιά μου. It's a story about a middle-aged vampire, a Greek vampire, Zano is his name, that he comes from the um, first time in the big city of Greece, Athens, during the, let's say, new wave 80s, Athenian new wave 80s, to, to start a life once again, to make a new start, let's say. <laughs> Did you have a clear idea of how the film would look when writing the scripts? Yes, I was pretty influenced by all this uh, straight to, to video uh, films, Greek 80s films, and of course European and American films of that era. And I really wanted to, 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 Im to imitate that Z movie aesthetic, but to, to put it in a in a slower pace and uh, make the narrative a little bit uh, um, more bizarre than it used to be an exploitation film. So yes, more or less, that that was my ba basic influence: American Z movie films of the 80s. And uh, you're a musician as well as a filmmaker, and you composed a large number of film scores. Um, how did you use these experiences? Uh, when making, making Norway? Uh, Norway actually has a, a musical pace. I really wanted to, to compose and direct at the same time for the film, because the, the music is actually the protagonist for this film. So the whole experience with, other, with the records and the, the soundtracks help a lot to make it feel like a, a music pace, a music thing. Sometimes it helps, it helps the narrative a lot, I think. I feel that in this film the two things I do work in the same direction. It's a musical with no songs and uh, with a very weird uh, and odd dancing. So yeah, probably. <laughs> The producers of your film have produced films such as Dogtooth and Attenberg, uh, which are art house films. How did they get involved in the in the making of a of a vampire film? The, my main producer, Yorgos Churyanis, he was involved in my previous uh, short film. He immediately wanted to do my first feature film. Um, yes, it's a it's a relationship we have for many years, but. Uh, we have no genre filmmaking in Greece, so we, we just do this kind of uh, contemporary art house thing. So it's one of the few times that we, we, we experimented with uh, genre filmmaking. In a way. Some might understand what's happening in the, in the last part of the film um, as uh, something to do with the political uh, situation in, in Greece right now. Do you see Norway as a political film, in a sense? The first thing with the film is that it's set in the Greek 80s, and the Greek 80s, they have some common things with uh, what is happening now to Greece. Uh, I mean, it's a very confused, po politically confused uh, era of uh, Greece. After, it's, it's the era after the big uh, coup we had for seven years the Greek dictatorship. So in a way, by, by setting the film in the 80s, I'm trying in a way, in an abstract way, to, to, to make the audience feel uh, what happens politically now in contemporary Greece. But in a very abstract and uh, cryptic uh, manner, I suppose. Yes, our film is quite a crossover between art house and genre filmmaking, so you, it has the fun and uh, it can have... Uh, I, I see the film as a, as a way to, to talk in a very cheerful uh, way about very serious things. So yes, so in that kind of uh, film, I think, yes, you can talk about anything. <laughs> Ξέρεις τι δουλειά πάμε να κάνουμε. Το 
of this year's festival is hope. Do you hope. Think, yeah, yeah, hope. Yeah. Do you think your <laughs> film relates to, to this theme in any particular way? Yes, probably. Because the ending of the film is, um, is quite uh, hopefully... <laughs> I suppose it, the film has a, um, a bad ending for the main character, but uh, in a funky way. So, yes, that reflects in a way some hope. It is. <laughs> Thank you.